Hey guys and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today is just a quick tutorial to show you how to use Travel Journey by FCPX Full Access. So this pack for Final Cut Pro is going to allow you to make beautiful paths for travel films, allow you to show your route, where your point A, B, C, D is, how you're getting from one place to another in a really cool and creative way. And it's super easy to use, very easy to customise. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So getting into this right away, I'm going to start with this lovely clip I have of this motorcycle rider who's driving through the desert. This is going to be a beautiful clip to drop our title onto. So if I click these six boxes up here in the top right, that brings up our media browser. And I make sure I have title selected here. I come down and I find Travel Journey, Full Access Travel Journey, and you can see here we have our, our plugin pack. So the pack is split up into three categories, that's assets, paths, and titles. So the assets are just things that you might find useful to use in your project alongside this pack, such as arrows, animated arrows, but we also have logos of different types of transports, and these are all really nicely animated and you can change the colors, and yeah, they're awesome. We then have our paths, and these are 100% customizable, they're pre-animated, and these are really, really easy to Use. and this one will be showing you how to use today and lastly we have our titles and these are a selection of lovely bold titles and lower thirds that are going to look awesome in your projects alongside these paths okay so let's get right into this so you can either drag and drop the template or I like to double click it it's just a bit quicker and it drops it right on top of our clip straight away this is going to come pre-animated out of the box let's take a look That looks really cool, really professional straight away. But one thing is this clip is a little bit too bright for this to be really standing out and really popping. So if we come up to our assets, you see we have darkened screen, and this is a plugin that lightly fades out the clip underneath the plugin. So it's really useful for making the plugin pop a little bit more. So I'm just gonna drag that underneath number three here, and I'll show you the difference that makes. So you can see how that just makes the title pop right out of the screen, our colours are really vivid, our whites aren't lost in the clip at all. It's really, really nice. As I mentioned, of course, all of these plugins are completely customizable. So I just select the plugin number three. I come up here to the top right and I make sure that these three sliders in the top right are clicked, which will open up our inspector. Make sure the T is selected and then we can see all of the parameters that are adjustable in this plugin. As you can see, it's quite a lot, So, but don't worry, we're not going to get overwhelmed. This is really, really easy to use. So everything stylistically in this plugin is completely customizable. We can change our path color, so that's our actual route. Say I want to have a red path, but I think personally white looks really good, so I'm just going to leave that as white. We can change our path width, might make it a little bit wider just to make it pop a bit more. We can change our final destination colour, which is our little dot here. Might make that a nice blue. We can change the size of our final destination, make it a bit larger, 85 looks quite good. And we can change our location pin colour, which is this pin here, to anything we like. And maybe a red pin might look good. And then as you see, we have stop one here is our first text box. So we can change this little title here, stop one, might be, we can have journey start. I can change everything from my fonts to the font size, the position, the tracking, maybe a little more tracking can look quite cinematic. And then I can change our first destination, which is currently Los Angeles. So maybe I'll change that to the Sahara Desert. Let's say our motorcyclist here is riding through the Sahara Desert. Again, we can change all of the parameters here. I might choose a slightly bolder font. And I might change the tracking just to match our text. And then we obviously have our final destination, which is up here. So I could change that to journey end. I might want to increase my tracking just to match the other title. And then we have our fourth destination. I'm gonna change that to South Africa. And I might make that a little bit bigger, just so we're really emphasizing our title. And we can change the color of all of these, obviously, so I might want to join the blue here, so it's all cohesive. And our final title is we can change our journey length, so I would research how far that is between South Africa and the Sahara Desert. I'm going to take a guess and say it's about 1500 miles, 
and that changes this title here which is next to our path and shows how far the journey is going to be. I might want to make that a little bit bolder. I think that looks really great, let's take a look at how that looks. So that looks really great and if we come back and look at our title pack here you can see we have a couple more options we have paths number two which has three stops before you get to the final destination we have path number one which has two stops before you get to the final destination we have path four which is a bit more of a linear layout just from left to right we have path six which is a really cool option where the camera follows the path over to the final destination and we have path five which is going to be a really cool way to show how you get from airport to airport let's take a look at path number six here so i'm going to click my playhead to the start of the clip that i want to put it above i'm just going to double click six and it will drop it right above the clip straight away you can see that this clip has a lot of whites in it so our darkened screen plugin is going to be really useful here as well so i'm just going to double click that and make sure it goes underneath our title plugin. Great, and straight away that is looking so much better. So again, if we select our title plugin here, it's gonna open up our published parameters on the right hand side and we can change this to whatever we like. So I might change the color of the pin to blue. I might change the path color to blue as well, let's say. I'm gonna change that path width to a 20. I'm going to change this text here at the start. So I'm going to say beginning, and let's say Norway. Or I might choose some sort of brush script. And then I'll just come over to the end of the template here and I can change the final destination parameters. So I might make this just end. And we'll say Sweden. I like that in yellow and white as well. With this particular path, we also have the option to change the path shape. So I'd recommend here leaving point 0.1 and point 0.5 as they are because these are the start and end points and you want it all to line up nicely with the title. But point 0.4, 3 and 2, you can see if we change these parameters on point 0.4, 3 or 2, that we can change the actual path itself. So you can get a bit crazy with it like that. I'm just going to make sure my darkened screen here is the same length maybe even a little bit shorter than the than the path so let's take a watch of how that looks awesome that looks so professional really cool and it took us about one minute to create it so i'm just going to wrap this up quickly by exploring the title section of this pack let's say we want a big bold title to set the scene i'm going to click title number one double click it it's going to drop it right above our clip here so all we need to do is click the title it's going to open our publish parameters here on the right and we can change everything we want to do we can make the pin glow or not we can have just a flat icon i quite like it with the glow i might change the color good for this cyan i might make the path cyan as well and then we just change our main title so let's have this as london where i live might change the tracking. I'm gonna make that white. And I can choose whether I want this to be an outline or I can have it as a fill. I think as a fill, it looks better in capitals, so it's a bit bolder. I'm just gonna make the tracking. And then I come down to the subtitle here and I'd say United Kingdom. And I'm gonna make that blue too, so it fits in with our title. So let's see the final result. So that looks really cool. I hope you guys can see how easy this pack is to use and how easy it is to get really professional results in a matter of minutes. We're really excited to see what you guys make with this one and we'll see you in the next tutorial.